Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. Today we are going to talk about how we can use Microsoft Graph to consume sites, libraries, folders and files stored in SharePoint Online. And then once you have got a reference to a file, you can also easily copy, move, download, get the preview of the file and stuff like that. And of course, from a developer point of view, once you have learned how to build the URL of a resource stored in SharePoint Online with Microsoft Graph, you can also use the Microsoft Graph SDK to easily access that content programmatically. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So, imagine to have a SharePoint Online site like the one I'm showing you right now, in which I defined, just for the sake of making an example, an accounting folder, a document library, in which I have a banks and invoices folder, and in the invoices one I have invoices group by year, and in the 2022 I have just five sample files that I want to use in this demo. Now, let's see how we can use Microsoft Graph to get access to the uh, document library, to the folders and to the files defined uh, inside this site. So, let me switch to the Graph Explorer. And first of all, we need to get a reference to the site. So, we can go through the size uh, uh, and point of Microsoft Graph and we can specify the name of the tenant we want to target, so mytenant.sharepoint.com, followed by the relative URL of the site that I want to target, so slash sites slash demo path graph. And let me do that right now. By executing this query, I will be able to get back the unique ID of the site in SharePoint Online from a graph point of view, so that I can access the target site providing the ID uh, just following the site uh, uh, endpoint. And here we have the same information as before, but now we can also access the drive of this site. As you can see right here, I can get access to the drive. And inside the drive, I can eventually see the root folder of the drive. Now, notice that the drive I'm talking about right now is the shared document folder, so the one that we have right here in the documents link inside the quick launch. But actually, in my scenario, I want to access a different document library. So we can use the drives endpoint under our target site in order to get the whole list of document libraries that we have, including the one that I showed you before, so the accounting one. And for that one, we can retrieve the ID, which is this one, in order to target that specific drive, so the accounting document library. Once we have done that, we can then play with the root folder of the library in which we are right now, so slash root, and inside the root, we can see eventually what the children are for my root folder, so slash children, and I will get the list of children, which will be the banks and the invoices folder. Now, theoretically, I could get the ID of the invoices folder and uh, continuously getting all the ID of the child items uh, one level per one level, we can go to the actual target that we want to uh, achieve. But luckily, we can do better. So, for example, when we are in the root folder of the whole document library, we can use the following syntax. We can provide the relative URL of the subfolder in which we want to go, like, for example, the 2022 in the invoices folder, and run the query. And we will get back that specific folder directly without having to go through the whole hierarchy of uh, folders inside the document library. And once I've done that, I can get the ID of the folder that I'm interested in. And I can simply say that in the drive in which I am, so this one, I want to get all of the items and specifically I want to get the item with that specific ID. Meaning that I'm getting a direct reference to the 2022 folder inside of the document library in which I am. And I'm interested in the files inside of it, so I can access the children uh, collection of items for that folder. And here we are, we have all of the files. And just for the sake of having a, a smaller response, I can say dollar $select, and I can specify that I just want to get the ID, the name, and for example, the last modified date time of all of the files in the uh, folder in which I am. And here we are, and here we get the five invoices. And of course, eventually, we can get the ID of a specific file like this one, for example. 
And one more time, going through the list of items inside the drive in which I am, I can replace this URL with the ID of the file, and I can get a direct reference to a specific file that I have in my library in a specific folder. So, by using this technique and by browsing the content of your SharePoint Online site and its libraries, you can easily access all of the files, define subscriptions, get the download or the conversion of a file, and stuff like that. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.